We have another guest, uh, first guest actually of the show, and this guest is a lovely lady from South Africa. Having started her rap career in 2011 with then all girl trio Black Benzi after a sabbatical, she has been able to make a name for herself going solo in her hometown, Mombela, with her singles Nerve, Boss Chick, Anthem, and Bomboclat. Touring Pumalanga with Kamina Kawena Tor and releasing her debut. And releasing her debut music video, she's been able to carve a fan base for herself. She has since released her latest single, Karma, which speaks on her life experiences. And her EP, Reality, has received amazing reviews. Hello, Naletzi. Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, babe. So Welcome, Naletzi. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? I am great. Let me just... All right. Okay, so, you know, we're bringing you all the way from South Africa. There's some of our... Audiences here yeah. in Nigeria who don't really know much about you. So really quickly describe your sound, who you are, what you what you give to the industry. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Naledi, aka Bunny. I'm a rapper, I'm a songwriter, I am also a producer. I co-produce most of my stuff. I'm all the way from well, I'm now in Johannesburg and I could say that my sound is a bit eclectic, you know, because I play around with my music. I don't stick to, I do hip hop, but it's not always just strictly hip hop. So which is one of the things that I'm currently doing now with branching out uh, to other artists all over the continent. All right, so it's amazing that you just told us you're a rapper and, you know, not many of your kind. You know, I don't like to um, differentiate, you know, put a gender to it, whether female rapper or male rapper. Yeah. All I see is a rapper. So you, can you just do justice to the gender, the female gender, because that's what you represent right now by giving us some quick bars. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Show you who I am so you can fit me in Tatris. I'm hope I'm a living dream, Katniss. And I'll be forever deemed greatness. Ooh. I take this precious for oh my God. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Oh, keep going, keep like, going, I'm freestyling from the top of my head. So Aww, it's just like, yeah, amazing. you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you this. Um, how's it been so far yeah. for you in your music career as a rapper? How has the um, reception been from people? Mm. How has it been? Just tell us. Tell us more about that. Well, like starting out, I started about two years ago, and I feel like as um, I feel like as a female rapper, you're all you're also given some kind of recognition, mm. but it's always just a bit harder to sustain it because it's like people always expect you to just be better all the time. Mm. You know, they don't give you the chance to just relax. But for me, it has been such an amazing time, and everything that I've come across has just been so expected because. Here I am, you know, getting this interview. And I'm just like, this is just so amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I really like that reply. I'm going to drag you into a bit of a drama for a second. So um, we talked on this table just before we introduced you about Rema, who is yeah. a Nigerian artist that went on Twitter to really pour out his emotions, kind of like go on a rant and stuff. And I wanted to know from your perspective mm -hmm. as an artist, obviously, that you have a whole life that nobody really sees, you know, maybe that's not so glamorous as well. What, what are your thoughts on, you know, taking all of that feeling and emotion to social media to express that? Are you down for that? Do you think it's TMI? Do you think that um, celebrities should avoid that? Or, you know, do you have, do you give him a thumbs up for doing what he did? I think there are days, you know, there are, for us, we can't, as you're saying, we can't just express ourselves all the time. So everything that we experience, you either need to really deal with because you can't put it out there. But there are days when you're just like, I've really had enough. Like, I've, there are some days where just like, this is too much. And mm. you, we're human beings also, you know. So I feel like, yeah, if it was, you know, if it was one of those days when you're just like, I'm too overwhelmed for this, mm, I absolutely. need to share mm. my, my thoughts on something, you know. Alrighty. All right, so what's the South African rap scene like? You know, we have the likes of Nasty C, uh, Casper in your vest. We have the AKA. likes of AKA, you know, putting Africa on the map as a whole. So what, what are the chances yeah. of a female rapper taking up, taking over that scene in South Africa? Because we've been waiting for this. I think it's been long overdue, you know? Mm -hmm. No, there's like a lot of amazing female rappers right now who are coming up. Um, 
I think if I can think of the besides me, <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. I can think at the top of you my head. Yourself. It would be someone like Hannah. She's a South African rapper. She's amazing. You could have Indigo Stella, and they are really coming up and making a name for themselves. So I feel like we're at a point where we've transitioned a lot from a time where we felt like you needed, as I said, you need to be extra hard mm. with the bars. You need to be, you know, macho and everything. Everyone's just a bit, you know, relaxed now and taking the seeds of um, making music that is just musical and not just like, I'm a hard rapper. I rap very hard, you know. Mm. Okay. So it's just yeah, an amazing time for female rappers in SA. All it's right, but do you think time. that that's, that's, that's putting pressure on a lot of female rappers, though, because you're saying that they're coming up and um, is there a disparity in all of that? Do you, have, do you feel like you have to work 10 times harder than a, a male rapper because mm. of your gender? Do you feel that type of way? Not, not necessarily. I feel like, uh, as I was saying, um, <clears throat> that where we come from, we come from a time where if you're a female rapper, especially in SA, they will compare you to someone like Rod Digger. Like, they will need mm. you to be an empty light. Whereas now we're transitioning over to, we can be musical and we can make music that people can just jam to mm. instead of them just listening to what a good rapper I am because I'm a female, I have to prove myself. So right now, it's, it's not as staunch as it used to be. Mm. It's not as staunch as it okay. used to be. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this now, let's say. Uh, everybody just believes that the rap industry must involve in some type of beef for the other person to yeah. become so big. We have it with the likes of yeah. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, mm. you know. Even right, currently, I read something about AKA and um, they're, they're going to box. They're going to fight it out because of the beef they're having. So yeah. they're setting dates for a, for a fight and everything. Mm. Now, do you think a beef is something you want to necessarily get into? You know, just to put yourself out there. Or do you think beef is actually really necessary? Or part of the hip-hop culture. Yeah, or mm. part of the hip-hop culture. Mm. What do you think about that? I think, you know, because uh, a lot of the music we do, especially in hip-hop, it's personal. So if I have an actual problem with another rapper, I'm probably going to write about it because yeah. I'm not going to come and show up and beat you. Or, mm -hmm. you know, mm. I'm probably going to say something on, like, the social media and be like, no, you're out of order, you know. So it becomes a, if it's a personal thing, yes, some people do use it for PR. And if it works for you, great. But I feel like for me, if I ever have to have a beef with anyone, it would be more like I have an actual issue with you mm. and I need to address it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Before we let you go, because we are running out of time, just quickly, you know, fans are watching us. So just quickly tell us where we can go yeah. support you. What are you cooking? What are we, you know, what are we expecting from you? So I've got a single coming out uh, next month. I haven't named it yet, but I've okay. been in studio, as I was saying, I've been in studio working. And I'm actually working on a project that should be out by March 2021, right. which is scheduled for the end of this year. But because of the COVID situation, we had to re-strategize everything that we're doing. So basically right now, it's just the single coming out next month. Uh, I've got my project. I think I've got, I've been talking to two Nigerian artists. Who are just uh, one Spill of them is AC, the songwriter. Are they? Do you want to give I us a name? Like he makes amazing music. So I'm all about the collaboration, you know, right uh, now. I'm can you spill studio, any tea on the collaboration? You know, it's tea time. For my project. Now, let's see. Could you want to drop a name for us quickly? Who are you working with in Nigeria? Yeah, tell us Nigeria now. Right? We won't tell anyone, we promise. <laughs> no one would hear about this, we promise. Uh, um, I think it, it's, it's, uh, it's, he's an upcoming songwriter, actually. Okay. Uh, he's got a song called Bounce Along. It's SB, the songwriter. And someone okay. else we've been in talks with for the few last month is Max Marcel. He's been in and out of South Africa for since, I think, two years now. Okay. So okay. we've just been, you know, those are the people that so far I've been able to sit down with and be like, okay, we need to do something. Nice. Awesome, and I feel like awesome. maybe we should go my project. Thank you so much for spilling tea with us today. Thank you, Nalezi. Thank you so much for having me. And happy Independence Day for uh, the first. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Smart thank girl. You. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much. Um, did you guys enjoy that? Yeah, that was yeah, amazing. Yeah. And I'm glad she remembered the, the Independence Day. Yeah, that was awesome. That's she amazing. popped the cherry on that. She beat us to it. She even, beat us imagine. to it, yeah. But let's quickly go on a no break. No more xenophobic, you know, stuff. Hey, we love y'all, man. Wow. Wow. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. That one is, we, we all know. Every true South African and Nigerian know we love each other. The people that are making noise about that, I don't know what air they're AKA being. AKA and MI. Don't mind hey, them. Bah. Mm.